Hey there guys, my name is Vlad and today we are going to take a look at these awesome coolers from Deep Cool. I have done a build in past using the 360 RGB V2 model, but these are something on a completely another level. So let's see what's in the box. You have accessories and plenty of them, you'll see in a bit why. You have two 140mm fans for the 280AX model and three 120mm fans for the 360 model and the AIO itself of course. Now in direct comparison with the RGB model, this one comes with less accessories as the fans are not RGB lit, only the pump. There are only two cables coming out from the pump, one is for the pump power and the other one is for the RGB light. Thermal paste is also pre-applied on the pump. On the side of the radiator there is a fill port so you can refill the liquid if needed. There is a warranty sticker here but during the warranty period and for 3 to 4 years ahead there will be no need for you to refill it. This is a neat option to have as not every cooler has this. It comes with anti-leak technology inside and it helps the system achieve an automated pressure balance which will significantly improve operation safety of AO liquid cooling systems. Inside the radiator an elastic pressure relief bag is added with one side exposed to the air and the other side dipped in the coolant. When the internal pressure exceeds atmospheric pressures the bag will be squeezed and thereby increase the system's internal volume. As a result the increased pressure is released and the risk of leakage is avoided. You can click the card in the corner to see the official demonstration of how this works. Fans that it comes with are not RGB, they are just black, but they are specifically designed for static pressure and noise level. As the complete AIO is extremely quiet even under full load, so the fins of the fans have a special design to reduce the noise while spinning and achieve better pressure as that is needed to cool the radiator properly. Fans are 140S models and 120S models respectively and you can connect them to the CPU fan header on your motherboard with the included Y splitter. I also have a 360 white version of this AIO here and this one of course comes with three 120S model of fans. They are white on the frame but black on the fins so you can make a cool color theme of your PC. Pump is of course the same as on every model and what I like the most here is the interchangeable logo of the pump itself. And a huge thanks goes to Deepcool for making me my own custom logo. Take a look how it's installed. So these are slightly bigger and different than the original one. These are designed to cover the whole pump area and to let the light shine through it. The original one is black color behind and it does not let any light through it, where this one is white and it lets the light pass through. Once again, it is a, such an honor to receive something like this from such a great company. In the accessory box you get all needed mountings for Intel and AMD systems and the manual is super easy and super understandable so you can't go wrong when assembling it. The installation is so simple, after using the correct mounting kit for the CPU connect the pump to the pump fan header on your board or to the CPU OPT fan header and connect fans to the CPU fan header with included Y splitter cable. Now here is an interesting part, you can either use the included controller for the RGB effects if your board does not support ARGB 5V connection or you can connect it directly to the board. All the necessary cables are included for every major motherboard manufacturer so you can sync the pump with all other RGB lights in your system. The AIO does not use any additional software, you are controlling everything from your motherboard or manually with the included controller which will require one free SATA power connector from your PSU. Now here is where EX models are different from RGB ones, apart from the RGB fans on the radiators, the EX models have interchangeable logos inside the pump. These are also rotatable so if you for some reason can't mount the pump in one direction you can turn it around and simply twist the lid on the pump to open it, rotate the logo inside or put your own for that matter as you are getting one additional mirror so you can add your own logo and put the lid on back and you're done. So let's see how they perform, I am stressing them with ADA64 stress test using the CPU, FPU, cache and memory benchmarks and this is pretty much the worst case scenario you can put your PC through, so it's a good measure to see how they perform.
I believe that most of the users won't stress their PC like this, but it's good to know its limits. In games, temperatures are pretty decent and it's worth noting that the idle temperatures are better than the most AOs out there. And what's most important, the pump noise is... Wait, this is wrong. The, the pump noise can't be heard. So there it is, pump noise is virtually non-audible compared to let's say NZXT Kraken AIOs, which use Acetec pumps and this is why I love Deepcool products, they manufacture their own pumps so they know what they are doing. So the price of this AIO goes from 130 or 140 dollars or euros depending on where you are and it ranges up to 117 dollars for 360 model. They are available as 240, 280 and 360 models. It's worth mentioning that 280 and 360 are pretty similar in cooling capabilities as the volume of radiators is similar. So this is my recommendation, 240 for 4-core CPUs and 280 or 360 depending on the case size and space for 6 or more core CPUs. So thanks goes again to Deepcool for sponsoring this video and making my own logo, so thank you guys very much and I'll see you in the next one.